Hello Gemini, welcome to Dark Light. Let's go ahead and have a look at what messages Tarot has for you today. I hope you've been well, staying safe and gorgeous as always. Alright, what messages do we have for Gemini? This is a get-together. Could be a birthday, a get-together with like-minded souls, people that you enjoy hanging out with. Three of Cups could be an engagement party, birthday party, or just, just hanging out. Ooh, this is love. This is a date that turns into love, okay? Or going out, meeting people, and then you're going to fall in love. Because Ace of Cups is all about um, a new beginning in love. How beautiful. King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male. There may be an earth sign male around you that you have some strong feelings for. Now, if you are the masculine, this is you. You are a business owner. You're doing very well monetarily. You're very stable, secure. You could also be someone that is top tier in business, such as in management. Ace of Swords, communication. This could be communication. Somebody is telling you something about this and you could be telling them, yeah, you're in love. You've got three aces. This is a huge week for you, Gemini. New beginnings all around, okay? The King of Pentacles gets his pentacle, okay? Business has begun or you get that um, first pay from a new job or you get a bonus from work it just so happens that communication is coming through you've got love you've got money you've got some communication you could be chatting with someone online the four of wands with the three of cups and the ace of cups is saying that this is something that is very stable strong and secure in your life gemini that one randomly fell out so we'll take it Hangman could be a Pisces around you. <clears throat> the hangman is all about something that is going to stay still. It could very well be, like I said, a Pisces that you're in love with. Okay. Now, this could also be a work, work um, romance for some of you. The hangman is very much about seeing things from a different perspective. Your person could be a very alternative thinker. <clears throat> making some heavy-duty decisions in regards to possible relocation, going somewhere. It could just be a holiday, um, like, for instance, traveling overseas, interstate. Generally, it's a global thing, so it's long-distance travel. This could be a long-distance romance, and you may have been saving your money in order to go and, and meet your special person that you're in love with. And things are going to develop from there. For those of you who are going through that, definite travel coming towards you, moving over, or literally relocating, <coughs> excuse me, overseas or traveling overseas or something to do with water. Definitely love. So Gemini, I can see you're in love, possibly a long distance relationship. This is something that you're considering taking seriously. Communication, there's love, there's money, there's stability. There's possibly some time between you and when you've seen your person last because the hangman's there alternatively may just be a Pisces. You're the, the lovers because the lovers means Gemini. So it definitely looks like a beautiful romance between you and your person. So let's go ahead and get some clarifies. And wow, they really wanted to come out. Okay, I'll take them because the King of Pentacles is there again. So the King of Pentacles wants me to tell you a story about him. <clears throat> King of Pentacles invites you. Ooh, and this makes some huge changes in your life. Now, there is some sharing <coughs> going on here. It could be financial sharing or sharing of time, energy, resources. Okay. However, to make things happen, we need to do this. Justice could be legal. Okay. It could be a visa or contracts need to be signed. Could be there is a mother involved. Sometimes justice with 
uh, the empress, especially if the Six of Cups comes next to it, it could indicate children or a birth certificate or getting a visa for the children. <clears throat> especially when it, when there's other travel cards involved like the world. We have communication. Um, someone could be, <coughs> whether it's you or your person, an actual parent. There's a six of cups that I was talking about. So this could very well be traveling with children, communication about the children. It's a bit concerning because the um, empress, the sword, and then the children, the children or the the mother, the mother may be having a C-section. She may be having surgery in order to have a baby. For some of you, let me know if that is your story. The hangman, <clears throat> the hangman is stagnancy, stillness. Um, things are not moving forward. We're just going to chill out for a little while. Okay, it's doctor's orders. Um, five of Pentacles is lack energy. However, we are. We're possibly going for a job interview or something where we're being observed with the Three of Pentacles, okay? Some kind of observation to do with the um, lack in mindset. Happily ever after with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a beautiful card because it means happy families and we're not letting go of that. With the Four of Pentacles, it's like, no, I'm not letting go. <coughs> now that I've got you... And now that we're together, I'm here to stay. I'm not letting go of you. So it looks like once you and your person get together, whether it's long distance or whether it's down the road, um, the happiness and the lovers and all these beautiful love cards and the communications and the invitations, it does seem to me that this is quite serious and your person does not want to let you go. It's it's basically holding on to each other. Wow, Gemini, let me know how this resonates and what this means to you. It's a very interesting reading. And as always, I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.